We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Oh, good evening, everybody. It sure is a nice, clear night. You can actually see some pretty nice dark skies overhead here in Midland. Thanks to the West Texas State Bank Sky Tracker, we do have a good look outside at all those nice, clear conditions. A big change of pace over what we saw from yesterday. A lot of rainfall keeping our high temperatures pretty well below average. Average for this time of year, 87 degrees. We only made it up to 75 degrees because of all that rainfall, all those clouds we saw overhead. Now, with that rain falling yesterday, a lot of it had to evaporate today. So that's a big reason why our high temperatures today not that different from what we saw yesterday afternoon. Now most of us did warm up close to that 80 degree mark, but again, biggest reason for that is how much rain we got. Just shy of two inches here in Midland and Odessa. 0.94 for Fort Stockton, just shy of one inch and just over half an inch for Pecos. That's a lot of groundwater that that sun first has to evaporate and then the sun can begin to warm our temperatures up. So now that all that water's out of the way, tomorrow is going to be a much warmer day. It's going to be very very similar to what we saw for today. This afternoon, very, very sunny skies. This is a long satellite loop showing a lot of the afternoon activity, which is to say, not really a whole lot going on on the satellite and radar for our neck of the woods. But we did get a little rain developing just off to the west of Roswell. Still a few lingering isolated showers. I do expect all that rainfall to remain outside of our viewing area. Now, here in the basin, no real rain popping up, but we do have a little feedback, little backscatter showing up on the satellite and radar dome right in between Midland and Odessa. All those green specks not really indicating any shower activity. We're clear for this evening. If you want to go out and stargaze a little bit tonight, not a bad night, not the best night. It is still a little bit muggy outside, so that's going to obscure some of those stars. But at the same time, we're really not looking at a whole lot of cloud cover overhead in the basin, unlike what we have south of I-10. Notice those clouds really just whipping across off to the west. A lot of our counties south of I-10 now under some cloudy skies. But here in Midland, Odessa, things are looking very clear, much clearer, in fact, than what we saw yesterday afternoon and into the evening hours. 60s is what we can expect once again for our temperatures for most of the evening, and wind speeds are going to remain very calm right around that 5, 10 mile per hour mark. So not a bad evening at all. As we get to tomorrow morning, notice a little bit of moisture beginning to flow in from the south and east. Right around 2 a.m., that moisture is going to continue to push off towards the basin, so we may wake up to a couple of clouds here in Midland and Odessa for parts of the northern basin as well, but those clouds clear out as early as about 12 noon, especially across the basin. And once we get to the afternoon, we could be looking at a couple of light isolated showers to develop some of the higher elevations, the Marfa Plateau, south of I-10, generally in Brewster County. We could be looking at some light isolated showers. I don't expect them to last for too long. No threat of severe weather. We're not looking at any severe weather potential here for the next couple of days. In fact, we're looking at the opposite. We're looking at a lot of sunshine to be flowing on in. Now, as we get to around 7 a.m. on Thursday, we'll see more moisture flowing in. So Thursday morning, tomorrow morning, looking about as cloudy, but both days we'll see those skies clear out. Now, as we get to Thursday evening, notice that wave of energy pushing in from the west. That'll give us some isolated showers, possibly a, an opportunity for some more thunderstorms at the higher elevations. And once we get to the end of the week, that's when these really nice patterns begin to change up on us. We'll see another chance at some strong weather to come through Friday into Saturday. But until we get there, very nice, very warm, very sunny kinds of days. High temperatures are going to be picking up. So it's important to remember, if you're working outside, if you're in the sunlight a lot, don't forget to stay hydrated and don't forget to use that sunscreen. We're coming up on summertime when those high temperatures will be picking up into the triple digits. So better get into the practice now. Better safe than sorry. That's what I always say. Anyway, 88 degrees are high temperature tomorrow and 90 degrees on Thursday. Both days very, very sunny in the afternoon time. Again, important to get in the habit of using that sunscreen. Now, Friday evening into Saturday morning, that's when things change. We've got about a 20% chance for thunderstorms to develop overnight Friday before midnight and about a 60% chance for those thunderstorms to develop after midnight on Saturday. Could be strong weather, could be severe weather, so keep it here to Big 2 News and I'll keep you posted on what to expect. Yeah, so Chase, if you like today, you'll like tomorrow and Thursday and most of Friday. Right, exactly. You summed okay. it up pretty nicely. A lot of sunshine besides this weekend. Exactly. Which is good. Mm -hmm. A little bit of both. Yeah. Use them for our plants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's always talking about his lawn. All right, Chase, thank you. Thanks.